Today, I want to show you how to upgrade your bullet lists on your slide from simple sets of text to full screen images that capture your audience's attention and transport them to whatever location you're describing. It'll be more understandable, more memorable, and hopefully because of those two things, more actionable. Let's look at how to create individual full screen images in Keynote on iPad to upgrade your bullet lists. So we have a very common slide here, a bullet list. This one is a bucket list items. It's a bunch of text on the screen. It looks clean, it looks neat, but it's not as understandable, not as memorable as if we replaced it with some images. Let's start by going to the bottom here and we're adding just a title slide here, just simple text in the middle. And we'll change that title to be our bucket list locations. That's all done. Now we need to add those images. So we'll go down here to the bottom again, and we'll add a photo slide layout. Now this will actually save a little bit of time here. If you hold on that slide, you can go down and choose duplicate. And now you have two. Tap on one, hold your finger there and tap on another. Now both are selected. Now when you tap and hold, you can duplicate that and you have four. Do that again. And now you have six, which is what we need. And then at the end here, we'll just add a blank slide to finish up our presentation. That's a little bit of a pro tip. Otherwise, Keynote will usually exit you out of the presentation unless you set up your settings differently. And that can be a bit awkward in a presentation whereas landing on a blank slide is you're done and finished and nice and professional. So we have a bucket list location, fun looking title. We wanna change these images though. On the bottom right corner, there's this plus icon. We tap on it and we can choose a photo to replace. You can choose from anything you have on your iPad. Here I've created a album in photos that has all the photos I wanna use. Our first one's gonna be Machu Picchu. So we tap on that photo and it replaces that full screen. And we'll do that with each of these. Looking back at our bullet points, our second one was Northern Lights. This is a Northern Lights image, although we're not sure where it's at. So we'll go in here and insert the photo we have of the Northern Lights from Iceland. Our third one is the Safari Adventure in Tanzania. And so again, fourth one is the cruise in Norway. So we'll replace that photo. Our fifth one is the historic streets of Marrakesh in Morocco. And our last one is Carnival in Brazil. And so we'll tap on the plus. We have a great crowd scene from there. Now that's almost done. So instead of this bullet list, we now have full screen images of each location to talk about. And if you want, you can take that text, copy it, you go to the left top corner, tap on the icon, you can choose show presenter notes. You go down below your photo and paste you can put each of these bullet points because these are actually better to have for you as a speaker than they are to have on the screen for your audience. Just copy them. And that way you won't forget what the locations are as you're sharing. You can have that up when you present. Now we'll go ahead and we will hide that for right now. Sometimes it's gonna be tricky to tap and hold on these. So if you go up here and choose light table view, then it gives you the option down here in the bottom right to select. We can start with that first one and you just tap on the slides. Now all those are included. Up here, this icon is for animation or transitions between slides. Tap on that. For this one, we're just gonna choose dissolve. Go to options. One and a half seconds is pretty good for this. That's all set. We're gonna go down here in the bottom right and tap done. We can tap this icon to get a demo of it. In your presenter controls here, if you tap on this icon, you can choose current and notes. And now instead of all of this, you go through your slides, you'll be able to have the location information that you copied and pasted matching with the slide on the right. Meanwhile, on the left, you get a preview of what's happening on your screen as you present. Much smoother, much more professional, much more attention grabbing. And then again, your audience, instead of just seeing this simple set of bullet text, gets to see these full screen images, like we showed you before, transport them. Not every bullet list will this work for, but anytime you have something where an image can work, use those full screen images to upgrade your bullet points. I have several more videos I'm working on to show you other options to upgrade your bullet points, so check those out. 
like this video if you liked it and it was helpful for you. And if you subscribe, you'll know when more of these come out. Hopefully this helps you to be a better and more effective presenter, whether you're doing this as a hobby or for school or for work. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.